Today I'm going to be listening to the most hated songs in the whole wide world. Am I going to survive or am I gonna go absolutely mad? Now you may be wondering how does someone find out what the worst songs in the world are? The same way I find out everything else in life. I do a little Google search. I read articles, gathered all the statistics, and I compiled a playlist on Spotify called the Very Scary Larry Playlist. I was gonna call it the Playlist of Suffering, but that sounded a little bit too dark. This playlist has 16 of the most annoying songs known to man, and I'm terrified to press play. Before I start the challenge, I wanna make a quick disclaimer that just because these songs are on the playlist does not mean that I personally think they're bad songs because there's a lot of talented artists on here. However, a lot of them got overplayed or have annoying elements. So I think that's the reason why they ended up widely disliked by people. So don't be starting rumors saying that I'm hating on all of these artists because that is not true. Guys, this is the first time I've done one of these challenges that I actually have AirPods. I feel so bougie that this is incredible. I never thought this day would come. The first song to kick off the challenge is Baby by Justin Bieber. Also for copyright reasons, you guys can't hear the song. I'm the one that's gonna be hearing all of it go into my eardrums for 24 hours. I'll overlay other music though, or my original recreation of the song. Let's go. Oops, I missed. Oops, I missed again. What the heck? Oh, brother. Also, it's 9.28, so that means that I'll be done with this challenge tomorrow morning at 9.28. B-b-b-baby, baby Okay, this is a bop. I don't know why this is on the list. The first order of business is to make a coffee because I haven't had any, any, any of it this morning. Oh my gosh, it is so hard to talk while gummy bears play now. I haven't had any coffee, so I'm definitely gonna need it to get through this challenge. I think I deserve it. Guys, this might be the worst one. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. The gummy bear song has a good beat. It's just the voice that's like, gummy bear, I'm, I'm a gummy bear. So heckin' infuriating. And gummy bear, gummy, it literally sounds like that. I am a gummy bear. The gummy bears sound like lawnmowers, why? I need to know. Still kind of goes hard though. Ooh, that's a beautiful. I sat down to enjoy my coffee with Cotton Eye Joe blaring into my brain cells, which I'm not gonna lie, I like this song a lot. I think I could listen to it for the rest of my life. Then Sunshine came up to give me emotional support. Aww. Friday! I forgot Friday was on this list! No! I tried to watch the movie that they made about me, but it turns out it's very hard to concentrate when you have such an epic playlist playing. It turned into me having a full mental breakdown. I'm just kidding, I'm fine. The song Whip My Hair Back and Forth by Willow literally had me whipping my hair back and forth. And it's okay if Pitbull doesn't have hair, he can still participate in this. I wanted to make sure he was in on the fun too. Ow, oh, that actually hurt my head. I went a little bit too aggressive, don't try that. I needed to clear my head, so I packed up my scooter in the car. I'm at the park, and I'm gonna go do some mad scooter tricks, but first, you guys aren't gonna believe the song that's on this playlist. It's called Fake by Elise Eklund, and it's absolutely horrible. You should definitely go stream it on Spotify so you can see how disgusting it is yourself. It makes me so mad. Listen to it. But for real, it seemed very fitting for me to put one of my own songs on the most hated songs playlist because I find myself very annoying. I need to put on sunscreen before I go out in the boiling sun. Guys, I burn so easily. I bet you never would have guessed. At this point, It's Everyday Bro was playing an iconic song from YouTube culture, and it really was giving me the power I needed for my awesome scooter tricks. Look how much air I got with that jump. I scooted my heart out, but then the unthinkable happened. I scooted way too hard. Then I had to do the walk of shame back to the car. I was at the park for almost an hour. I got very sweaty. I'm home now, and you guys will never guess what song is up again. 
I also forgot to mention that this whole playlist is almost an hour long. I think it's like 56 minutes, so that means I'm gonna be listening to each song on the playlist at least 24 times. I'm gonna go inside and cool off. It's like a million degrees out. I just got a notification from the Bible app with the verse of the day, and that reminded me that I forgot to read my Bible, which is not good because I've made it a goal of mine to start reading the Bible more. They're literally testing the tornado sirens right now, so you know, I've got Let It Go playing, blasting, and I'm reading the book of Acts, so this, this is a whole vibe, but I think the word of God is going to overpower whatever's going on in here. This is proof that I can read. I need to read more in general because I think reading makes you smarter and I could definitely use that. The wild thing is most of these songs are from over a decade ago, so it has me wondering, have we not had a viral moment in the music industry recently where the masses have come together to hate on a song? I mean, that's probably a good thing, but maybe that means it's my time to step in and shine. Maybe I should create the most annoying song in the world. I might have to just do that. I'm not feeling so well. I'ma be honest, the first couple hours of this challenge was a party, a piece of cake, but now I'm starting to get sick of it and I wish I could turn it off, but I'm not going to because I'm not a big baby. I'm going to persevere. I have to run into the store to get some groceries and then I'm gonna pick up dinner because I'm also getting pretty hungry. Just adult things. Also, why do people hate Call Me Maybe? This song was a staple of my teenage years and it felt so freeing to listen to it while roaming Walmart. <laughs> I'm back. I got Taco Bell. It seemed like the right decision. I hope I don't regret this later, but even if I do, it is a day of regrets and I'm embracing that. Taco Bell is so good though. I don't think I'm gonna regret this. Mm, that Baja Blast. I needed that. I'm listening to Barbie Girl right now and I'm just gonna enjoy my food. Let's enjoy the moment. Got some cinnamon twists. Crunch wrap supreme. This actually feels very soggy though. This is their new crispy chicken avocado taco. This actually looks really good. All the sauce. Okay, what do I wanna try first? Take a cinnamon twist. Okay, let me try the new avocado chicken taco. Yeah, that's good. I approve. That is a 10 out of 10. Baja Blast is a 10 out of 10. Cinnamon Twist are a 10 out of 10. Okay, this isn't hitting the same as normal, but I would still give it an eight out of 10. I was vibing so hard while eating dinner. The playlist wasn't annoying me at all. I was in a party mood. This just boosted my mood 100%. Um, we have a big problem. As I was using the toilet and I was gonna go flush, one of my AirPods fell out straight into the toilet. Guys, I literally can't make this up. Anyways, I'm gonna switch to these. This is perfect. Time to suffer more. I would like to announce that I have a tummy ache. I don't regret the Taco Bell, but the dancing probably wasn't a good idea. Things keep getting worse. I thought the gummy bear song was bad. The what does the fox say song is even worse. I know every single one of you has heard this. It starts like the cow says moo, the dog says bark, but what does the fox say? Apparently it says dinga dinga dinga. Yeah. Anyways, I am going to let my anger for this song fuel my workout. It's been a couple hours since I've ate. I am ready. I just showered, but I have some things I wanna say. I don't think I told you guys that Taylor Swift is on this list. Apparently a lot of people hate this song. We are never ever getting back together. I like this song a lot and I feel like it's been a breather for me in this chaotic playlist. When this song comes around, I'm like, okay, th this is nice. I really don't think it deserves all the hate that it gets. Also, I'm streaming Taylor's version. Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus doesn't deserve to be on this list either. I've already made it abundantly clear that the two songs I hate most on this are What Does the Fox Say? in the gummy bear song. I've also noticed a recurring theme that the songs that people seem to dislike typically have a lot of repetition in them. For example, baby says baby a lot, whip my hair, keep saying whip my hair back and forth a million times. They're actually really well produced, have a good beat. It's just the repetition and getting overplayed on the radio is I think what puts the nail in the coffin for some of these. Now I'm gonna give an award for the songs that have surprised me. I thought I was gonna be sick of these songs by now, but they're actually growing on me. So Friday by Rebecca Black. I thought I was really gonna hate this song, but it's not bothering me. And then Cotton Eye Joe, 
Anytime that song comes on, I have to dance. I have to. The dogs are ready for bed. They are so peaceful, so sweet. I'm gonna try to go to bed now, but I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight because these songs are really getting inside my head and breaking my brain down. I'm scared. For once, I just wanna be alone in my thoughts. And I, I'm really, I can see why people think, I feel like if you listen to any song enough times, it gets annoying, but these ones especially have elements that, that are like the voice is pitched higher or it's just like really nasal like i oh my gosh i don't know like at first you're like okay maybe this song is okay but now i'm just uh, i'm losing it i don't know how much more i can take of this good night guys i slept surprisingly well i had my laptop playing all night i just switched it to my own song so i can do the outro but you know what it is 10 49 that's how well i slept i was supposed to stop this at 9 30 so let's do this silence beautiful in conclusion most of the songs that were on this playlist were actually pretty good songs i truly think it's because they got overplayed on the radio i discovered that the most annoying thing for me personally is when the voice is pitched like in the gummy bear song because that actually has a really cool beat and it's a well-produced song but after hearing that for more than a couple times i i was done but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that thumbs up i hope you guys have a great day. Bye.